Well, I hope along with you as well. But again, I'm saying that there's no possibility of that until the international, until the international community, and particularly Israel's big brothers, the UK and the US, stop supporting its illegal, brutal, inhumane, and rapacious occupation. It can't happen without some pressure. Um, and again, most Israelis are simply not aware. I've been to Israel, talk to people. They have no idea what's happening a few miles away from when they're sitting in Tel Aviv having coffee. And they have no idea. Or in Jerusalem. And they have no idea what's happening a few miles away, how those people under occupation are living. And this has been... Dog, it's not that they're not capable of being aware, but like most people, they're just not. And I'm saying that unless we fully get the Palestinian experience historically and throughout the decades and into the present moment, we can't possibly understand what's going on here. Now, in 2005, there was a, a study appeared in the Journal of World Psychiatry looking at traumatized populations under war conditions. The most traumatized children in 2005, this is before Hamas gained power in, uh, in Palestine and in Gaza, the most traumatized kids were in Gaza. This population has been traumatized severely. Of course, they're full of rage. I'm not justifying anything they did, but I'm saying, what do we expect from this population that's been suppressed and tormented and crucified for decades?